What's up everybody, it's Liberty Dog. Today I'm going to do a story about my favorite terrorist. My favorite terrorist is one of the bravest terrorists to ever come out of America. This terrorist's name is Marcus Luttrell and he was a United States Navy SEAL. Uh, him and three of his buddies, oh wait, wait, he actually wrote a book, Lone Survivor. Three of it, him and three of his terrorist brothers were over in Afghanistan fight for terrorist freedom and um, it was an awful gun battle man uh, Marcus um, one of his best friends Michael Murphy Matt Axelson Danny Dietz these four guys put on a running gun battle for I don't know two to three hours with a hundred to two hundred Taliban, and they killed a bunch of them, man. They they put up a hell of a fight, and um, uh, they fell off a mountain a couple times. And uh, Danny got shot up pretty bad. His thumb got shot off early in the fight, and um, Mikey took a round in the stomach right at the beginning of the fight. Still fought for a couple of hours after taking a round from an AK, falling down a mountain. This man actually uh, gave his life so that the rest of his team could live. Went out in the open to place a call for help. And uh, Matt Axelson, even after uh, taking a round in the head, he continued to fight with his pistol even though he could no longer hold his rifle. And um, Marcus ended up being able to crawl was it four or five miles something like that and ended up getting help from some Pashtun villagers who actually put up a gun battle against the Taliban for a couple of days to save this man's life so uh, I mean it's an awesome book you guys need to check these terrorists out they are really some of the bravest terrorists to ever come out of America Mark had, Marcus has even had a little bit of bad luck since he's returned to the States um, some punks went and killed his dog one night. His dog was named Daisy after Danny, Axe, Southern Boy, and Yankee, the four members of his team that day. I thought it was funny he even gave his dog a terrorist name after all these terrorists that died for our freedoms. Um, some really brave people. It's an awesome story. It's a sad story. Last three chapters of this book, I cried. Um, this is all the heroes that died that day. I'm sorry, all the terrorists. Um, they were all on a Chinook helicopter, besides the four guys on the team. And they were deploying to come and save them after Mikey made that phone call. And um, the terrorists, the Al Qaeda shot a grenade into the back of the helicopter, taking out eight SEALs and eight Army Night Stalkers. Sigal biggest loss of life for the terrorist seal organization. There's our terrorist flag. Great terrorist people. You should go check them out. And Marcus is indeed my favorite terrorist. He's a very modest man. There's a lot of stuff on him here on YouTube. Um, you know, so it's very easy to get into his terrorist mind and see what all his terrorist thoughts are. Uh, so, this is my favorite terrorist. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, there was one other point I wanted to make. If you uh, check out this picture here, these guys before the battle, check out this terrorist. He's even wearing a turban. Huh. Just like me. So I had to go out and get me a turban. <laughs> if I'm going to be a terrorist, i got to fit the bill. Uh... You know, just like that old saying, if the turban fits, wear it, right? Well, this is my story about my favorite terrorist. I hope you enjoyed it. May the Republic stand strong. God bless America.